I mean, the crowd was awesome. Home track, just super comfortable. It's doing what we do every week out here. You know, it's, I know this track better than any other track. Can't even tell you how many laps I ran on it in five years. And so to come out and finish up and with everyone cheering and all my friends, it was, it was great. I, I couldn't be any more proud of her. She raced perfect, um, never led, which was exactly what we wanted. And with 600 meters to go, she just took full control. And you know, as a senior, she's been a leader on the team, and this was the perfect way for her to go out. I'm not one for a finishing kick. That's if you ask anybody, they won't they won't say that I do that often. But I was really just trying to stay as relaxed as possible, and I knew I was feeling good, so I didn't want to leave it to any question. And there was four of us there, and it was only three spots, so I didn't want to mess around with it. So I just waited as long as I could, and then just gave it everything. Silla executed the plan perfectly. It's a really talented group of women out there in the 10K, and um, she played the race perfect. After last night, um, she walked away from those seven laps very confident and re really ready to go for today. And I mean, you can tell she was a senior out there today. And it couldn't be better weather today, and last night we knew there was a pretty good chance that it could have got stopped, so we just tried to be relaxed and take whatever happened and immediately turned to the positive when the race got called. We're like, okay, you know what, let's just go get some rest, we'll come right back. We work out on this track every Friday morning, so it was nothing new this morning and just came out with the same game plan and tried to execute again.